everyone, Cassie here, and welcome to Cooking Clean with Quest. Today, we have a very special guest. Jason Chen is YouTube singing sensation extraordinaire. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Today we are making a strawberry Danish twist. Strawberry Danish twisty. I'm excited to <laughs> cook and eat today. Really? So. Not just eat, cook and eat. Cook and eat. Tell me a little bit more about your channel and what, what you do and everything. I sing and the only reason it's my YouTube channel isn't about food is because I don't, eating isn't a talent apparently. <laughs> Unless you eat a lot. I'm better at eating than singing. No! Yeah, I think so. No. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited about this. You wanna get started? Yes. Okay, let's get started. And quick shout out to bodybuilding.com athlete, healthy home chef, and Quest fan Sarah Solomon. Your recipe is awesome. So per strawberry danish, you've got 180 calories, 22 grams of protein, just five grams of fat, and just 10 net carbs. That's crazy. So the ingredients you'll need today are one teaspoon of low-fat cottage cheese, one teaspoon of sugar-free strawberry syrup, a quarter cup of freshly cut strawberries, and one strawberry cheesecake Quest bar, my favorite. Jason, first we're going to put the Quest bar in the bowl, and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds, really make it soft and mushy so we can roll it out. Okay, so now it's all nice and soft, but before we actually spread it out on our cutting board, this is some oat flour. So what you're gonna wanna do is sprinkle it on your board so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Okay, now you do the honors. Flatten that baby out. Yeah, there you go. Do you bake? I don't. You don't? I bake, bake vegetables. That's good. I just put them in a bag with olive oil and turn on the oven. Oh, so I mean, it's not yeah. like real baking. No, but that's really good. Like a little olive oil, some salt and pepper. I probably should have salt and pepper. Yeah, oh, but, but if you eat it plain, that's fine add. too. Or if you steam it, that's even better. Nice. Now, we are actually going to cut wings so that we can actually braid it together. Nice and precise. Like it's our patient. Didn't your parents want you to be a doctor? I think all Asian parents want their kids to be doctors. I know. Yeah. Well, we are doctoring this thing right now. Yeah, my parents wanted me to be a doctor too. Very but... steady hand. Okay. So it's filling time. Take a teaspoon of this sugar-free strawberry syrup and mix it in with that low-fat cottage cheese. Give it a good whisk. That looks pretty good. It smells pretty good too. Yep. Yeah, what do you think? It's good. Yeah, go ahead and spoon it into the center here, all the way down the line, nice and evenly. And we'll top it with strawberries. No, seriously, I cannot wait to eat this. Don't you just like feel like you you created something amazing. I always taste better when you make it yourself too. That is so true, it does taste a lot better. So go ahead and help me fill in uh, the center with some fresh strawberries. You just feel like there's a sense of yourself in the food, right? Yeah. So obviously it has to taste better. Sense of accomplishment. <laughs> so we're just gonna take these wings and fold them into the center to create that nice and beautiful braid look. Which by the way, braids are really in right now. I'm talking about hair braids, but anyway. Food braids, all the better. That looks pretty intricate. Yep. Good job, we team. Made that. We made yeah, yeah, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the pan. So why don't you carefully lift that creation up. Right here, okay. right here. There, just like a patient. So now we're gonna go bake this for six to seven minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Jason, look oh what we God. made. We did that. This looks so good. High five. Yeah. You know what, I think it needs a little like, like drizzle, drizzle. Okay, you ready to dig in? I am. Okay. Oh yeah. Cheers. Mmm. That is really good. Yeah, it just tastes like dessert. But there's 22 grams of protein in here. It's something you don't have to feel guilty about because it's actually really good for you. Uh, if you're ever in the mood for something sweet, get a cup of fresh cut strawberries. Add a teaspoon of low-fat cottage cheese. Mix it together, and what do you got? Strawberry Danish twisty. <laughs> Thank you. That was Thank great. You. That was great. I really honestly liked how that tasted. I did too. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and Jason's like pop-up ballad just now. Um, let us know by liking this video and be sure to subscribe to Quest Channel right here and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Until next time, you cheat clean and we'll see you later.